Hello, welcome. Strap on your dual disc because it's time to duel. Here we got the Battle City dual disc. And, and real quickly before we get into the rest of this video, I'm going to split this video into two parts. It's going to be in the same video, but don't worry. First section, we're going to be looking at it right here. Me basically just looking at the actual design and everything. And then you're going to see the dual disc on my arm and a... Uh, and yeah, who who wants to see me? I'm ugly. Either way. <laughs> so yeah, that's how this video is going to work. So, this is the dual disc. Not to be confused with a dual dick. Which I really hope is not a thing, because then we'd have some really traumatized five-year-olds who just spelled dick. Just misspelled disc. So, let's actually get into the design of the dual disc here. Obviously, I'll show you this later, but it does split into the standby mode. You got deck tray, graveyard, surprisingly good life point counter, your f five monster zones, and your, just to show it a bit better, spell and trap zones. By the way, yeah, I have no fear of putting cards in this thing, mainly because I don't have any, like, really expensive cards. Also, this stays on for a while unless you have it in mode 2, which, let's get to that. On the, ah, on the back, um, we do have some holes here. Let me grab a spell. So when you put it in, you can kind of, like, see it. So that can be worrisome because then your opponent might see it. On the back, we got... I just call this the arm sock. Battery slot right there, and I think it's up here. This is an arm guard, I guess. Up up here we got three different modes, I think. Okay, so middle is off. This is mode two. I could probably actually look at it, because I know it says it right here, I think. But I don't feel like that. This is mode two. This is what I had it in where it stays like that for a while and if you have it the other way then it'll do this which is also what it does when you launch it completely which speaking of launching right here you have the switch to do that so if I have it in mode 2 you know what let's wait on that um one last thing to actually show Field card slot, field spell. Also, this does move, don't worry. You won't have any trouble drawing your cards. It holds a full 60 card deck, graveyard. Um, shall we count? I think we should count. One, let me count 20 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 1920. Got 20 cards right here. Come on. Get in there. Okay, we're going to put it in kind of like half. There we go. Graveyard holds about 20 cards. I don't think I could get one more in there. <clears throat> and I do not like that clicking sound because it's not supposed to do that. By the way, I do not play Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively at all. My decks are trash. Alright. That was the first part of this video. Now let's get to the second. <gasps> Ew, it's the pizza face fat ugly nerd! Yeah, well, you're stuck with it if you want to even see the dual disc. So, we're not going to duel right now. We can put it to standby mode just by dragging that along its track. Let me get three specific cards. Um, uh -huh. Perfect ordering. Oh, wait, I did miss one. Um, I only have 
I got Tilted Try in there, but... Where's my Dragon deck? There it is. Okay, I'll find Mountain in a minute. <laughs> Let me get through the, uh, the rest of this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. On the back here, we got the Launcher, which... And you can see the lights. So, yeah. Got your dual disc like this. You got Monster Zones. This isn't any tutorial on how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but you got Monster Zones. Trap Zone. Well, Trap and Spell Zone. And it... Has it been a minute? Yep. Now I gotta find Mount. Now I gotta find Mountain. <clears throat> While I'm doing this... Oh, hey. Terraforming and Mountain are right next to each other. That's a coincidence. Either way, this goes in like this. Sometimes you might have trouble getting it out of there. Just like it might get caught on something. Oh, wait. I, <laughs> I got this too high up. You know what? Hold up. We're fixing that. Okay. So, you might have a little bit of trouble just getting it out of there, but... That's really the only trouble you might have with this thing. Gotta make sure I don't mix the cards up. <laughs> Speaking of, I can take these out now. Anyways. So, let me quickly just talk about how this thing works. You can't have any sleeves in this. It only fits the actual cards. Crap, I need to grab another card. We'll just use Mountain. Um, it only has enough room, as you can see, for the card alone. It just barely got any wiggle room there. In the attack zone, basically no wiggle room at all. And defense, yeah, you don't have any wiggle room. I don't even have to put it in to show that. So guess what that means? Ruins your cards. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. I've got probably the most expensive card I have is like maybe $10 or anything. And I got this Blue Eyes Ultimate, which if you're wondering. Yeah. Came with this thing. It's a Blue Eyes Ultimate. It's supposed to have a projectile. Everyone lost that. Trust me, I've looked on eBay. There is not a single one that isn't seal that has that little shooting piece. <laughs> yeah. Just can't help it. So like I said, no sleeves at all. Hold 60 cards, 20 cards in there. This stays on for a long time. In fact, I'm just gonna hold it there while I talk. We're gonna you can count it if you want. I don't feel like doing it. So I'm just making sure I have everything out of here. So, ugh. we're not in a duel. So, there's not really much to it. Um, this button lights it up, which I've just ruined the time, whatever. Not like anyone one's really going to watch this. Unless you actually seen the old video this is in, which I even have. <laughs> Funny thing is, <laughs> if someone knows that video... Please leave a comment or something. I just want to know if you can even recognize me. Because in that video, I had this on my right arm. <laughs> By the way, it's supposed to go on your left arm so that it looks like this. <sighs> I really hate my old videos. <gasps> Anyways. <laughs> what, was I gonna, what was I about to say? I don't know. Uh, I lost myself. Um, trying to think, 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 think. I don't remember. <laughs> Even then, I showed everything there is to be shown about this thing. This thing's awesome. I got it a couple years ago for Easter. One day, I'm hoping to get a chaos dual disc probably just so I can have a dual disc portably kind of like 
This thing's huge. And no, I'm not grabbing a banana for scale. But yeah, this thing's huge. Chaos Duelist would be nice, just so I could pack it up and go. But hey, for now, this is actually pretty good. And I don't plan on getting like an Academy Dual Disc or anything else later on. Mainly because I don't use sleeves at all. And I'm pretty sure your sleeves are required for those. And I refuse. I don't play competitive. I'm almost forgetting to do an outro. Wow. Not like I have one. See ya.